In this video, I want to show you a nice live trade example in the euro dollar as I promised in the last video where I showed the table of contents of the fractal flow strategy video course. Without further ado, let's jump into the logic behind the trade you see on the screen. As you can see, the chart is packed with information, so let's carefully go through all the steps one by one. In number one, we can see a massive exhaustion bearish candle. We attribute the quality of exhaustion to these candles because they show a greater degree of volatility and sometimes, depending on their context, they seem to be the final nail in the coffin of a trend. Right after the exhaustion candle marked in number 1, the market produced a fractal candle marked in number 2, which is further confirmation that the downtrend has indeed reached its end. So far, there is nothing special about the chart, but things start to get a little more interesting when we get to number 3, which was a possible market manipulation that wiped retail traders out in an expanding pivot formation. Take a look at the ABC formation I drew on the chart. The interesting thing about that is the violent shifts in volatility in the expanding pivot, which were followed by a relatively quiet market. In number 4, the market reaches the level in which the sellers that produced the exhaustion candle in number 1 originated. We have to keep an eye on those sellers because they might show up again in key levels like the orange zone marked in number 4. They do show up, but with low volatility. Just compare the volatility of the market after number 4 with the volatility of the market in the ABC expanding pivot. This is a sign that market makers are willing to push this market up, and the sellers that originated the last major market vector down that terminated in candle 1 are not strong enough to suppress the buying pressure of the market makers who are probably in control of this market by now. In number 5, we begin to tie up the context for a buy trade because the market goes back to the level where retail traders were wiped out by the expanding pivot. If the market makers who are buying are going to show up again at all, this is probably the level in which they are going to do it. The icing on the cake is the appearance of a fractal candle in number 5, which in this case was the deal breaker to pull the trigger in the opening of candle number 6. As far as the operational logic of this trade goes, we have a very solid place to put a stop loss order a few pips below the C in the ABC expanding pivot. We also have a pretty good idea of the target for this trade, which comes from the notion that the market vector between 2 and 4 is the first vector of an upward movement, and the vector between 4 and 5 is the retracement. Based on this assumption, we can place a Fibonacci expansion tool. The first leg of the Fibonacci expansion tool goes on the market vector between 2 and 4, and the second leg of the Fibonacci expansion goes in the market vector between 4 and 5. As you can see, the Fibonacci tool points a really nice target point in the 161.8% level, which gives us a 1 to 5 risk-reward ratio. A more conservative target would be in the 100% Fibonacci expansion, which would give us a nice 1 to 3 risk-reward ratio. Our stop loss is about 7 pips, and our take profit target is about 35 pips. Let's see how the market plays out. As you can see here, our long position is in good profit territory, but I want to grab your attention to a subtler detail about this market that would probably go unnoticed if you focused too much on the profit. Notice how almost every candle after we entered the trade produces a higher high and a higher low in a suspiciously organized manner. This is one of the fingerprints of market makers dumping money in the markets to drive their positions up. The massive candle that you see here is also a trigger for the traders who act by impulse and tend to jump in the market without thinking too much about it. This also helps to raise the market maker's position. Later on, these impulsive retail traders will probably be washed out in one way or another. Our advantage here is being able to read the subtle nuances of price action through the fractal candle and to anticipate the market maker's maneuvers. Let's jump forward in time to see how the trade ended. Here we can see that the market reaches our target perfectly and closes our 1 to 5 risk reward ratio trade. That's what a professional trade looks like in real time. There is no impulsive behavior and everything is carefully planned, so when the right moment comes, we can collect the rewards of our hard work. If you wish to learn more about how to trade like a professional trader, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to check out our other videos. There is a lot of free high quality material available. If you want to take the next step and understand how to trade using fractal bars, check out the fractal flow strategy in the strategy store. 
I want to thank you all for the support, and for enabling this channel to hit the 500 subscribers mark. Thank you very much for watching.